Hello friends, my name is Dr. Jagdish and in my today's video, I am going to tell you about what is Gamma Knife and what is Cyber Knife. So nowadays a lot of my patients are asking more details about Gamma Knife and uh, Cyber Knife radiotherapy. So in radiation therapy, there are different types of radiations and techniques which are used for treatment of cancer. And out of these techniques, there is certain techniques like uh, radio surgery or stereotactic body radiotherapy SBRT or SRS treatment these are kind of specialized kind of radiation therapy techniques in which we have to give very accurate or very precise dose of radiation to the patients in that particular uh, set of patients very high accuracy of radiation is needed and for that purpose few machines are there which are called as gamma knife and cyber knife these machines are specially designed for delivery of highly precise treatments like radio surgery. So now in this video I am going to tell you information regarding these machines. So starting from first machine the gamma knife. The word gamma means it is a gamma rays. So in that machine the, the tumor is treated with gamma rays. The machine is mounted with multiple cobalt sources and these cobalt sources are placed uh, at a very accurate positions so that the cobalt sources emit gamma rays and these rays are concentrated on, on a particular tumor with very high accuracy and with use of these rays we can treat the tumor and that is called as a gamma knife radiation even though the term uses gamma knife it is not a surgery or it is not an invasive procedure it is a kind of a non-invasive procedure so there is no surgery involved in the radio surgery it is a non-invasive procedure it is a kind of a radiation so that needs to be understood the second machine which i am going to tell you is cyber knife radiation the cyber knife machine is a you can say it is a kind of a radio surgery machine in this machine there is a robotic assisted radiation therapy is given in this machine the linear accelerator head is mounted on a robotic arm of the machine and this linear accelerator will give very small pencil shaped beam of a radiation and that beam will be directed towards the uh, tumor and tumor can be treated in 360 degree angles and by that way we can achieve very high and accurate dose of radiation inside the tumor while in case of gamma knife we can treat only brain tumors but in case of cyber knife we can treat tumor with brain as well as outside the brain also so when we use this radio surgery for the tumor which is located outside the brain it is called as stereotactic body radiotherapy and when we use the radiation for brain tumor then it is called as stereotactic radiotherapy or SRS treatment. When we treat the tumor with single dose of radiation then it is called as stereotactic radio surgery. Why? When we use uh, treat the tumor with multiple or fractionated dose of tumor say three or five radiations then it is called as fractionated stereotactic radiotherapy or FSRT or SRT. So this is, these are the differences between the different techniques of radiation. So uh, this radiation is given. For uh, planning uh, stereotactic radiotherapy or radio surgery, we have to do certain process by which we can do these uh, treatments. The first phase in which uh, we have to do is immobilization. So we have to do the immobilization of the patient in the treatment position. So we use different types of devices like masks. In some cases, previously we used to do uh, invasive immobilizations like frames. But nowadays, uh, most of the centers they have shifted to the non-invasive immobilization devices like thermoplastic molds and some other devices. After uh, making the immobilization, what we do is the simulation. In which we do is we take a CT scan of the patient. So we generally take very thin slices of the CT scan of the patient in the treatment area. After that, uh, most of the cases we need MRI scan also because many times the brain tumors might not be visible on the CT scan. So we have to take MRI scan 
then in our software system we fuse that MRI scan and CT scan and after fusing uh, this uh, CT scan and MRI scan we do a uh, further process of treatment which is called as a planning so in planning we make a software plan in which we give a very precise and high dose of radiation to the target of tumor area and we preserve the surrounding normal area and thereby uh, we give very high accurate dose of radiation to the tumor so uh, this is how uh, treatment will be planned and then once treatment is started a uh, patient will be uh, subjected to lie down on a, machine, on a couch of a machine and treatment will be delivered so it might take around 10 to 30 minutes depending on the complexity of the case and once treatment is over patient can go home generally the treatment is painless patient won't feel any pain uh, during delivery of the radiation we give certain medications to prevent any side effects associated with the radiation. This is a safe procedure and it can be done for many uh, cancers. So uh, what are the conditions in which we can give uh, this kind of uh, radiation or stereotactic radio surgery or stereotactic radiotherapy? So the most common indication for which we do stereotactic radio surgery or radiotherapy is the brain tumors. Here I want to tell you that not all tumors can be treated with SRS or SRT treatment. Only few tumors are eligible for SRS and SRT treatment. So if you are diagnosed with cancer then it does not mean that you have to go for radio surgery or gamma knife or uh, cyber knife radio surgery. So uh, most of the tumors can be treated in linear accelerator machine. Only few patients need certain higher form of treatments like radio surgery or gamma knife surgery. So every patient need not go to the center which is having uh, gamma net or uh, cyber net. So which are the patients who need gamma net or cyber net radio surgery? The first thing is that the tumors which are located in brain and uh, which are uh, the tumors which are located in brain and which are well defined and well marginated tumors. So uh, just like brain metastasis, some arteriovenous malformations of the brain then some functional tumors like trigeminal neuralgia, some meningiomas. So these are the most common tumors for which we do gamma knife or cyber knife radio surgery. So this is all about uh, gamma knife and cyber knife radio surgery. If you have any doubt regarding gamma knife or cyber knife radio surgery or any form of radiation therapy, you can consult me online. I will give a consultation link for the online consultation in the description. Uh, you can also meet me uh, at my clinic in the Pune. Uh, if you want to do any treatment related to radio surgery, you can consult me for further assistance and treatment. I will give my address of my clinic in the description. Thank you.